Jesus speaks about the parable of the sower. And we're going to be looking at when he's talking to the disciples and he tells his disciples what the parable is about. So Mark chapter 4, we see that uh, verse 13, and he said to them, Know ye not this parable? How then will you know all parables? Now here comes what we're going to look at tonight. The sower soweth the word. Now notice, it says the word. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now I'm going to talk about tonight, this seed. It's very simple. Anybody can use these to get them out. Very simple. Greatest place, one of the greatest places you can leave this is in the public toilet. People like to read when they're doing their business. <laughs> Cashiers, anybody, your mail. These are wonderful. These are all scriptures. So that is the seed that God wants us to plant. And he says, the sower soweth the word. That's important. Now these are they that fell by the wayside. Where the word was sown, but when they heard, Satan cometh immediately to take away the word that was sown in his heart. Now, I'm not going to tell you how mean Satan can be. I can tell you a story. The men that you go out with gospel tracts and preach and all that, they can tell you all the mean things, the four-letter words. I can tell you what, what the mean things that Satan will say to you. Can I share the gospel with you? No, thank you. We get a lot of, no, we get a lot of polite people who say, I go to church. I'm good. I don't need that. Not always mean and nasty. Don't expect that. But notice, and we're going to look at two points of this, this parable here. Is notice, notice the good news. When you're going out and say, hey, I'm going to pass out gospel track. I'm going to serve the Lord. The good news is, guess what? Satan's the first one to show up in your life. You say, why is that good news? All they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You have aroused the devil and his, his demons, his devils. To come after you. Now I've been passing out tracks. You can use the calculator since 1987. Since I got saved. My family and I were involved in the bikers. We're involved in the Daytona 500. But I was with the Coca Cola 400. And things that go around. I'll tell you another way that Satan takes the word of God. And it's sorry that when we pack up. It's time to go. I look at the garbage can. And there's Satan taking the word of God. Yeah. You see him in the garbage. They'll take him. They'll throw him on the ground. Very rare, I've, I've had it happen, but very rare will they rip them up in your face. But I want you to know when you decide, and hopefully you will decide, I'm going to grab some tracks, they're free, they're back there, you've got them in the lock, and Satan's going to show up. And I want you to know that, I don't want you to think, everything's going to be hunky-dory, everybody's going to get saved, it's not going to happen. I want you to realize the enemy's out there, and he's after you. And the biggest thing, you know what Satan does? Stiley, once you hear that guy in gospel track that, that's taking care of your, your groceries. <clears throat> I left them home. I left them home. As you know, my family and I were involved with medical with Tracy and myself, and I, I carried my track back. The hospital gets loaded with tracks. <laughs> and what greater thing, I always got to reload because... You're in the hospital. You're not in the hospital for good things. You're in the hospital for trouble. You want answers. You want problems. Leave them. Doctor's offices. Yeah. And then when you're sitting there and you see the janitor come along, he's cleaning around, he takes things off, and they're safe. Don't get disappointed. Just keep on going more. Do it with prayer. So notice first that Satan comes up and it says, where the word is sown. Take away the word. Again, there's, there's the word there. You take it. It's going to happen. You are not going to get 100% of the people. And when you get involved as I am, your heart bleeds. You want them to get saved. You want to do wrong to get them saved. And you can't. Because yeah. you feel for them. That's your love for them. And then they'll come up to you and say, you have no love. You have no idea what love is. Your, ch your church, your denomination, they don't love me. They don't come to me. So the brother here, I was saved in 1987. 
1986, I was 18 years old. No one ever showed me the gospel. <clears throat> That's one of the reasons why I do it, because there's someone out there like me who has not been shown. Yeah. Don't take it for granted. Yeah. So, it says, I have planted, in 1 Corinthians 3, 6, Paul was watered, but God gave the increase. Yeah, right. It makes me sick to say, I got four people saved this week. You absolutely did not. Right. I didn't do it. And if they got saved according to what Corinthians said, so somebody else went out there before you. All you did was the watering. God saved them. <laughs> so the marvelous thing with, with, with doing the gospel, the Bible says go to all the world and preach the gospel, the word, is somebody else took part in that person getting saved. I've had them saved in the prison ministries. And you know what God does is so wonderful? The guy that witnessed to him, the person that's praying for that person, the person that you was able to show them the Bible, get them saved according to the Bible, those people have part of that fruit. That's a wonderful thing about missionaries. Uh, my mind is with the recent missionary we just had here, uh, the Island Nation. I was looking at his card, and my memory goes. And he, he told us there's people that go on ships, there's people that have industries all over. I'm going to start supporting that guy because not only do I support that Island Nation, I forget the name, that he's going to, but I'm going to support the whole world. Give $5 to the the fellowship track lead. They send carcans and carcans like we got in the back of the church here of gospel tracks. What's five dollars? What's a crown that the Lord Jesus Christ will give you? Yeah. Because look what, look what else what the Bible says in Mark chapter 4 verse 20. These are they which are sold on good ground such as hear the word. Not let your light shine. They hear the word and receive it. And bring forth fruit. 30-fold, 60-fold, and some 100-fold. There will be people that get saved. There will be people that will respond to the church. You may never see it. Yeah. I can't go, I, 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 my family supports five missionaries, I can't go overseas. But I'm getting, I'm getting the fruits of it. I said I, I'm privileged with my family. My wife gets part of my ministry when I, when I went to, used to go to jail. People got saved there. It, does, it will happen. You will have that opportunity for someone that will receive Christ and fruit. Now, a man named Joe came to me the afternoon that I got saved. And he took the Bible, showed me the Bible, nothing else but the Bible. I received Christ as my Savior. I'm going out. And because he spent his time in me, whatever fruits I do, he's taking the power. And God rewards and rewards. And I don't want to call it the pyramid scheme because that's wicked and wild. But that's what God has for us. Not just one person is involved in, in a soul getting saved. I planted Paul's word. And when we get to heaven, Paul is still getting this. How many of you use the Romans road when witnessing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, who wrote that? Paul's been dead. And yet God is still blessing him. How about this? There's a man that died on Calvary named Jesus Christ. And in Revelation chapter uh, 19, he says he mounts up on a horse and he has many crowns. Does he not get the fruit of all our labors? It's all for the Lord Jesus Christ. All for glory that we're going to spend all eternity with those that have... Receive the gospel by our hand, and God's going to reward us for so, something. It's, it's our duty. It's our duty. It's, you ought to have that love to go out there and do what our Savior told us to do. It's a Bible command. The pastor said this morning, what's the will of God? Go in all the world and preach the gospel. And it don't mean have to, you have to open up your big mouth. Just leave this on the toilet seat. You know, Okay, there's my change. I'd like to give you something. You go to a restaurant, put a good tip inside it. Yeah. You do your bills, put the check inside the track so they have to take the, check, the track to get it. You didn't have to open your mouth at all. You don't. And yet, it's a wonderful experience. Take it from me. I've been doing it many years. In all kinds of ministries, you people know it. It's wonderful and great. Satan is not going to bite your head off. And if he does, oh well. And when you go up there and you say, oh, I'm going to take that stand. And 
they take you down. I've been taken down with Jehovah Witnesses. I've been taken. Go home and learn. Does yeah. not the Bible say, study to show thyself approved unto God and be ready next time. But the Bible says, Mark 16, go ye in all the world and preach to God the good news that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. He rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And you start off with this, just this, just a piece of paper. You want to memorize scripture? Take the tracks, look at the scriptures in there, start, that's what I did. I started memorizing the scripts, the scripture in the tracks. Hey, I'm going to sow it, these are for sowing. That's where you begin. <coughs> and you watch the, now, listen to me real quick as I close. You watch the Lord lead in your life, and don't stick anything in your life, but when we get to glory, and somebody comes up to you and starts wrapping their arms around you. Thank you for getting me here. You may not know who that person is. Yeah. The most important ministry with the gospel tracts is, if they put them in their pocket, pray for them. Right. That's what you want. My mom, before she got saved, when I stayed at her house, she kept a drawer full of her tracts we'd given. I never even knew that. Pray for them. And use them. They're meant to be used. They're not back there just to sit back here. Grab some tonight. And use them. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat>